Hello everyone, this is Mylak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and today we are going to make the building design of a building which is 1300 square feet in the Tecla Structural Designer and the entire total steps will be covered uh, basically uh, when you receive a plan uh, from any of architect or you make yourself then you before starting any structural design we need the particular architectural plan so that's what we have here and from this we will show you the entire steps of how to you know do make the structural drawing so if you haven't used Tecla for you know uh, like if you are using Tecla or if you haven't used Tecla structural designer before also then you will also be able to get this so you can watch the video step by step and if you are bumped new to our youtube channel you can just subscribe to our channel and at the end of the video if you like what you see then you can uh, just hit the like button this makes the youtube algorithm happy so basically as i'm trying to do i'm just uh, trying to get rid of some elements because this is not in a single layer otherwise i created this the elements which are not required in the uh, you know the planning uh, or the structural drawing part so you can just uh, simply remove those elements and uh, just uh, as far as possible i'll just try to select the similar uh, things and uh, delete them and uh, those which are not deleted we'll just have to delete it uh, one by one and delete the things which we not don't require here so just uh, try to select some of this and delete this so the reason I'm showing the entire steps is because I don't want to leave anything uh, for you guys and be able to figure out the exact steps what we do at when we get project so that's why the reason okay let me keep that we'll keep that as middle ones we need to delete and then i can delete this one i think and also this one this thing can i delete this yeah I can easily delete this and regarding this as well so the less things you have in your plan the better when you go into the you know, structural drawing because you are going to import the grid in the Tecla Structural Designer because if you now don't know about this feature that we can actually import the grids as well as the plan the Tecla, Tecla Structural Designer when you are making the beam column plan you can actually import the beam column plan yeah. along with the architectural plan as a shadow so it is very helpful as you will see in the upcoming steps uh, to do that so this is uh, you know all of it and basically let's me delete this portion here and I'll just select this and ex enter and just join this simply I'll just uh, delete this and select this and ex enter and join this so the reason I'm doing this is because I want the staircase portion to be you know, separate because while it will work on the top floors I don't want to insert any any particular you know slab in the staircase portion so that's why I'm doing the uh, we're doing the you know slab that way so the walls basically here are of uh, 10 inches here and the internal walls are of the 5 inches so uh, so we're going to go for the column positioning so let's go for the column position select this column and let's go for a 10 comma 10 that is 10 inch to 10 inch column later on we can change the size before that the uh, just hatch it hit enter and uh, select this hatch maybe we'll select this and uh, this will be uh, not a pattern I want a solid so I'll just copy this add a proper end let's select this end to copy and then place it here and maybe you can place the add this end uh, okay, you can turn on the ortho and then we can copy from here so we can make one column here and another one at the this end so these are the columns uh, which have been done so selected uh, this three and we can go to the next level so we'll copy this and go up to here so when we go uh, up to here actually we have the option of our uh, finishing our beams so we'll see how the column position eventually acts out so first of all maybe we'll delete some of the columns but let's first of all let's keep the you know next level for the next level i think obviously we need to keep it here so that the obvious level 
just place the columns and make later on. So as a thumb rule, 1300 square feet, so it can be around 13 columns, basically. So we, we can have accommodated that, and so taking these three columns, I think take one more layer of the columns, and the distances are pretty much, uh, you know, average. After designing, we'll just get to know whether what is the sizes, exact sizes of these columns, and uh, we can know about. This. So this is it basically if we just join this beams we can join it i think we can have this as a secondary beam and uh, here also in between let's see the span difference between these two here there is a considerable span difference i think almost 16 feet actually we can keep this span difference and we'll keep these columns here and i think this for these things will act as a secondary beams and the entire you know this thing will uh, can act as a primary beams here so just I'll just delete this and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 columns. So we're okay with the number of columns as well. 1300 square feet, so it's a 12 columns. So roughly of every 80 to 100 square feet in a normal residential building, you can go for one column. So you can have a thumb rule uh, like this. So we can go here. So entire thing I'm going to select here and we'll put it in zero layer. And uh, zero layer it is there and I'll just do by layer. this will be by layer and everything is in zero layer so so I'm going to go here and just type lay uh, lay tel and then you can just select on this particular option name and then I'll just uh, select yes and I'll just repeat the command by using a uh, space name and then furniture okay yes Yes, space, repeat the command name, fun. So, you know, if you find any, you know, particularly if you file from, you know, the actual plan that contains a lot of layers, but you don't want to, you know, be this, keep those layers in the AutoCAD, uh, you can like this, delete the layers because it's definitely recommended because, like, uh, you don't want, you know, anything, any extra layers in the, in the, auto, in the software which you are using. So one and three, I think we need to delete. That points is the default layer. Don't want to delete that. So you know, right now as you can see, it's all good. Every my entire you know, drawing is in the layer which I want. Z enter, A enter. So after all these layers are deleted. So after all these layers have been deleted, you can just make the center line and you can see the two layers. So go to this layer properties and we'll just define a new layer now. And this name of this particular layer will just write as a CL or the center line. And you can give it a you know, light grayish color. And we can keep this as continuous because we can we keep this as continuous or in the layer properties we'll go and make this as blue because we want this to be visible in the THD software. Because eventually this is what we're aiming for. So I can select the center line here and uh, take a line, simple line here, saying select the middle center line and select this and we simply go and extend this, ortho is on, so no need to worry. Select this and we go for the uh, vertical ones first, uh, select this, one and then two. So the more verticals or the secondary beams, you can go with that, one and after that the remaining secondary ones select this copy and go with this like this and for this one also yeah for this one we have option like you can give some more columns at the staircase portion if we want so I think we have 1300 square feet so it's okay the column number of columns which you gave so we have we can actually give some columns here four columns at the four positions of the staircase so we don't have any problems with that so total there will be now on uh, 14 number of columns so it's okay 10 inch walls in there will be there for the staircase we're giving this so that no worries about it select this copy and just give it here another one and any vertical lines remaining we'll check all the vertical lines are given or not and after that only we'll go for the horizontal lines so we'll just take a little bit this side and split it up to this side and then we'll just go for the main beams first this one this one 
and this one and this one. So these are the main beams and for the horizontal beams let's focus on the horizontal beams now. Select this, copy, center line for this horizontal beam and for this one, for this one. So now we'll check whether if any particular beam is running or later we have to you know, draw the grid and manual in the tech lab. We don't want that non to happen. So this, these are the uh, literally all the grid lines which, which are there. Again, we'll just check that everything is in center line and the and apart from the center line, everything is in the layer zero. So we are good with whatever we are having here. Center line is in one layer, zero grid in the separate layer. So we want it to test it whether it's okay and done. So just save this particular thing and after that, I will use the option of a DXF out to sorry. To just make this in the DXF format, I'll just use a very common uh, name here. So let's use the CL and then save it in the AutoCAD 2000 version of the DXF. So now this is a file which is opened in the Tecla and a new project has been opened. I'll just click on new and this is how that looks like Tecla uh, THD 2021 interface and the levels. So first of all, I'll just test before even making the levels, I can test whether it, it works or not and after that I can make the levels. So for, for that, for testing, uh, or else I will make the levels first, you can just go here to construction levels and insert level below, give this a general 1.2 or minus 1.2 or 4 feet and then above this floor to floor height, I have a spacing of 3.2 meters, slab thickness generally this inch building 100 mm is enough, after the design obviously we will know that and uh, just do this as uh, SSL and this one uh, sorry this one you can delete this layer uh, created by mistake so here spacing into 3.2 SSL and uh, sorry TOF and uh, this is the pin length level this is the foundation level and uh, and uh, we'll just go here above insert above and this this will not have any slab here because this is the base and uh, this will be this will be zero So let's just delete this and make it again. Okay, so now it's okay. Just insert it below because I just did something wrong. So minus 1.2 here, and then just click here and then insert a level above it. So this one will be your SSL and spacing. Let's do this as 3.2. And sometimes this error occurs. You need to just do it. So this is my foundation level. This is my plinth level. This is my. Uh, ground floor slab level and if you want to go G plus 1 another floor level of this we are done to the G plus 1 levels so you can see in the levels that all the levels have been created foundation level, length level, ground floor slab level was my first slab and the second slab so uh, it will go to the plinth level and we import the layer grids first so we will just know the location before that so just uh, go to this construction levels not the construction level this one this option in the model since the import the XF and you can just give the uh, file here and just give the num naming here and enter and in here we'll just go for the center line and uh, this center line will just give this unit is in feet and inches so we'll go with the inches here and we'll go here select inches center line as a actual grid we want to import next uh, we'll go go by layer and in all the layers we can import this click on finish and after that uh, just click on escape so the grid lines are imported properly you can see here then click on import the XF once again and select this again and this time just don't need the center line you only need the shadow as fit and then click on finish ah so we, sorry we just made an error uh, made it purposely just to show you how an error looks like and after that you can go here and I'll just press, press ctrl plus Z to undo that and then you can go here and then select the center line and then uh, don't want this center line here want to do the shadow the unit is inches so click on finish
So as you can see in this particular model, you see everything inches has been converted into your meter. You can measure this uh, very easily between two points. The all the units are converted in meters automatically. You don't need to convert. So you can work in SI units in the software. So we had you know in the basic steps from the you know uh, starting to end without any you know editing. We have I've shown you so that you can uh, you know reach up to this point of making the center lines perfectly in the software. So these are the steps. We'll go step by step. Uh, you know, um, in this particular series, uh, you know, 1300 square feet of plan in structural drawing in the THD. So next part we'll uh, see in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned to our channel and keep learning. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button. It helps us to make more content because YouTube algorithm recognizes us and it supports our team a lot. So thanks for watching and keep learning. Bye-bye.